The contest for the top executive positions in the National Democratic Congress in the lead-up to the 2024 elections would go down perhaps as the keenest yet. And the reason is not far-fetched. It is not only a contest to lead the biggest opposition party, but these candidates are more than convinced they are likely to lead the NDC to form the next government. The event of Saturday, December 10 at the Youth and Women Conference is but only a precursor to how high the stakes are. The names that have offered themselves for the various national executive positions are but just one of many ingredients that hope to make the 10th National Delegates Congress a spectacle. The chief executive officer position perhaps would be such of the highly interesting contest yet. Three big wigs of the party would go toe to toe to win the hearts and minds of the over 10,000 delegates expected to cast their votes on that day. Elvis Efriye Ankara. The former Minister for Youth and Sports and immediate past Director of Elections of the National Democratic Congress is the most recognizable voice yet on NDC campaign platforms. The one-time failed parliamentary candidate of Ayawaso West Wagon was a student leader who joined the NDC in its early years and serving as its Deputy General Secretary. Elvis Ifriye Ankara will be counting on his family lineage to help him as it has always as a man from both ends of the divide, a mother from Achiavi in the Volta region, a World Bank of the NDC, and father from Ahenema Kokobeng in the Ashanti region. The former Deputy National Campaign Manager for the NDC party in the lead-up to the 2008 general elections and former National Campaign Coordinator for 2012 would hope his wealth of experience counts as a factor for consideration for the party's faithfuls who elect come Saturday. Fifi Fiavi Kwete, the former member of parliament for Ketu South, has served in various portfolios of various NDC governments as former minister for transport, agriculture and deputy financial minister. In his very young days, the now 55-year-old politician served as the propaganda secretary of the NDC, though that position has since been rebranded as the National Communications Officer position. It is perhaps that role which brought him to the bigger national prominence. Then, as a student at the University of Ghana, Legon, Fifi served as a student leader, serving as the chairman of the NDC Legon campus ahead of the 1992 elections. The one-time overall best student in 1987 would be very optimistic of his chances. Dr. Peter Buama Otokuno, the agricultural economist, will be hoping to move up the ladder having served as Deputy General Secretary the past four years. Like his other contestants, Peter Otokuno was a student's leader serving as the JCR President of Commonwealth Hall of the University of Ghana. He is currently the Deputy Director of Research of the NDC and Registrar for the Ghana Institute of Social Democracy. He served as the Senior Researcher at the Communications Directorate of the Office of the former President Mahama. He also served as the Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the National Youth Authority. Otokuno, who holds a double PhD, would be counting on his service to the party at various levels that have shaped policy, research, and ideological thinking. For these three men, their quest to serve as the chief executive officer of the party is purely one in service to a party they have dedicated the entirety of their political lives to since their students' days as students' leaders. The margins are obviously slim, and fortune would favor the brave and perhaps in their case, the smarts.